Andrew was a remarkable person. I think we both felt as though he was the bravest person we've ever known. Mm -hmm. Anyone that has schizophrenia or a brain disease is challenged in ways that people that have never experienced it can't really understand. And when he was on his medication, he was truly remarkable. When he was off his medication, he, he was not himself, um, but he was still someone I recognized and loved. He was kind, he was loving. He had a great sense of humor. And even when he was in the depths of his disease, one of the things that was so amazing about him is he never gave up hope. I enjoyed so much being around him. We did all kinds of things together, surfed, fished, rode bikes, and uh, uh, I, I missed him terribly. They strap his legs and his arms in and they put a, a hood on him uh, or a cap on him and a strap around his neck. A helmet, actually. Yeah, a helmet and they have him sitting in this chair. They leave him there for 46 hours. He's under glaring bright lights, unable to even scratch his nose. He urinates, he defecates on himself. He is sitting there in a glass cage where everybody can see him. And nobody thinks that he might need to get up and move around. They treat him as though he's just so much baggage. Honestly, if, if you went to the dog pound and you saw an animal being treated that way, uh, there would be such an outcry. And that's the reason that we think that this is so important that the video is released.